right, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to talk about installing AutoCAD at home. I'll take you step-by-step step how to do that uh, and uh, submit your assignment. This is a required uh, assignment to do. It needs to be installed um, at a computer outside of class so you can finish up any assignments that you don't get to in class. So a uh, fairly uh, simple yet lengthy process. Uh, first thing we need to do is create an Autodesk account. So we'll log into the Autodesk website. It takes about 15 minutes or so. From there, uh, you'll have to download the software. And depending on your internet connection, that'll take between one to five hours. And if you have dial-up, uh, if any of you still have that, that'll take even longer. So be prepared to uh, download the software for quite some time. If you do not have internet at home, what we can do is download the software in class onto a USB stick. We have a nice fast internet connection in class. Uh, so you can download it in class and then install it at home. But you still need to create an account, which you can also do in class. Uh, and of course, uh, our last step here is actually installing the software. So it's big, you need to have plenty of space available on your computer, and it'll take uh, between one to two hours or so to install, depending on the speed of your computer. And then the last thing you need to do is just create a sample file. Uh, so after you've downloaded the uh, class template, which is our default template from School Loop, you'll want to uh, install that just as we did in class. And uh, then just create any file you want. Just draw some random shapes, uh, save it, and submit it in School Loop under this assignment. And that way I'll know that you have it uh, installed at home and we can uh, give you full credit for that. All right, let's get to it. Uh, you're first going to go to www.autodesk.com. And what we're going to do here is somewhere along the top here, there's usually some kind of section that says communities. Uh, we're going to go into our community here and we're looking for students and educators. So this will take us to the education community, which typically looks something like www.autodesk.com and uh, forward slash education. And then from this section, somewhere in here, you should see something that says free software. So we'll click on that. And then uh, scrolling down a little bit here, uh, we can see all the various uh, Autodesk products here. And you're more than welcome to download all of these as far as the uh, educational community is concerned. Uh, but the software that we're going to be using in class specifically is right here, AutoCAD, or if you've got Windows or a Mac computer at home, you'll want to use AutoCAD for Mac. So unless it says for Mac on it, then it's definitely for Windows, which most of their products are. So we'll click on this. And the first thing we'll need to do is register for an account. So if you already have an account, you can sign in. Um, if not, we're going to click on create account. You know, punch in your information as so. So our country is obviously the United States there you go. and you'll punch in your birthday and you'll want to select that you're a student so I'll do this as a student here and the type is secondary uh, secondary is K through 12 and then you'll punch in your school here so uh, whether uh, in this case, uh, I'll just put Aptos High, and then you uh, you can punch in the school website, and then you'll punch in your name, pick whatever you want as a username, just something that you'll remember here. You can punch in your email, and then type it again just to confirm it. And then pick a password, just anything that you can remember. And you want to accept the terms and conditions and ask you a few more questions here. So again, this all registration process does change from year to year, but you kind of get the general idea. So, All right, so our next step here is it's going to send you a email uh, to activate your account. So you'll wait a moment and you should receive a confirmation email. I'll check my email now. Um, you should have something that is uh, gonna look like this. Hopefully yours has the graphics and everything here. This one is uh, kind of old here, but you'll have this link here that just says click to activate your account. You'll need to do that. And we'll see if this does anything, not really. 
your spice will say something like account has been activated and you'll know it's been activated correctly because when you click sign in you'll punch in the email address and password that you use when you register and then I just like to click keep me signed in that way I don't have to punch in my username and password every time I want to use it okay so now I have successfully logged in for the AutoCAD for education and keep in mind that I am uh, it doesn't say AutoCAD for Mac so I know that I'm downloading the Windows version and where it says here select the free software you want we're gonna just select the latest version whatever that might be it's currently 2015 our language we can select English and then this is important to hear is the operating system and this is where a lot of students uh, get lost there's two different flavors of Windows 32-bit and 64-bit and it really has to do with how old your computer is so the best way to find out is uh, you click your start button here and you should have something here that'll say computer on it you want to right click on that and go down to properties and this will bring up a window here about your computer uh, so it tells you the processor and the speed and how much memory you have and I can see right here this is what we want to notice here is we currently have a 64-bit operating system now technically even if you bought a 64-bit computer it's possible you've loaded the 32-bit version of Windows on there so uh, we want to just verify the system type and in my case it's 64-bit so I'm gonna be sure to download the 64-bit version of Windows if you download the 64-bit and you try to install it on the 32-bit machine it is not gonna work uh, Alright, so then we just look at all this. It's giving me my serial number and product key, so we'll want to make note of that because it will most likely ask us for that later. And there's a couple options here. One is install now and one is download now. I like to do download now, that way it downloads uh, everything at the same time. Um, uh, and things tend to go a little bit faster, so I'm going to click download. And right now, here at the bottom of my screen, it's asking me, do I want to save or run? We want to make sure we do save. I'm going to save as, and then I'm going to save it to my desktop so I can easily find it. So I'm just going to click save. And uh, I can see here that it's going to take uh, about two minutes and eight seconds to download. So uh, we'll just sip, skip ahead here. All right, so my download uh, has finished downloading the download manager. So actually the way CAD works is um, this is just downloading an application that's going to help us download the rest of the application. Uh, AutoCAD is pretty big, so this is just a way to kind of help make sure that everything gets downloaded and installed correctly. So uh, now the uh, system is downloading and we'll let that continue. And this little window uh, pops up, making sure that you want to allow this program to run. So I'll click Allow. And then it's just asking where I want to save it. So uh, I'm actually going to change this and save right to my desktop here. And now it's going to begin downloading. So uh, we can see the entire download is almost 4 gigabytes, which is quite a bit I've got a fairly fast internet connection you can see I'm downloading right now at about three megabits between two and three megabits a second uh, and it's going to take, take a, a good hour to download so we'll fast forward through that alright so AutoCAD has now finished downloading uh, we're going to install it so we'll just click on the install button here and here's the sort of terms and conditions that most software has before you install so we'll accept those and click on next and then here it's going to um, just verify that we do install the English version we're going to be installing a standalone copy and you want to make sure that you do not put that you have a 30 day what you want to do is punch in that serial number and the serial number is what you should have uh, copied down when we download the product uh, or by now you probably should have received a confirmation email from Autodesk that will also have that number so that email will look like this so what we can easily do here is um, 
display our email behind here. And I'll just punch in one. And my product key is this. So you'll want to punch in the product serial number and product key that you received in your email, not the one that I used. And we'll click on next. We'll close out this guy. And so we're going to install the Autodesk AutoCAD 2015. And then this um, Autodesk recap is optional. You can install it if you want to. Uh, but it is not a requirement for the class. And then the uh, AutoCAD 360 is also not a requirement, but uh, if you have this space on your computer, you're certainly welcome to install that as well. And then you just want to verify that uh, this is going to install on this location at your computer and click Install. And so now you can sit back and relax while AutoCAD installs all the necessary components um, to uh, launch the software. All right, so we have now successfully uh, downloaded and installed the software here. It's just a quick list of the uh, components that were installed. So I'll just click on Finish. And then it's going to have you restart your computer. So. You'll uh, click yes here to restart. And then once your computer has restarted, um, you should have a shortcut here on your desktop for your new version of AutoCAD. So just go ahead and double click on that to launch. Okay, and then this is another um, a window that is coming up for me but may or may not uh, show up for you. But I want to always uh, associate DWG files with CAD. So I'll click on that. And then I'll click on this. Let's just say that we've already uh, are aware of the privacy statement. Click agree. And it's just going to verify the licensing information that we punched in earlier. So hopefully you punched in the license from the email that Autodesk sent you. And if everything worked out correctly, uh, on your top bar here, it should say Autodesk by AutoCAD 2015 student version. And we're going to get rid of this. This window here we don't need, so I'm going to minimize that as well. And we can also verify our serial number information by going up here to this little help drop down. And we're just going to click uh, About. Autodesk AutoCAD. And if you did everything correctly here, your serial number should show up right up here. And the next thing you should do is, uh, just like we did in class, you'll want to download and install our class template. So you'll just want to go on School Loop like we did before and download that. And I'll have a, a separate video on how to uh, install that template. So that's it. Uh, start uh, browsing the software and enjoy.